Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode on the RC Retro channel. Why am I wearing sunglasses? Because it is a beautiful day outside. It is one of those freaky 55 degree days in the middle of the winter where everyone's going to be out and about jogging, biking, running, kids are going to be at the playground, but I am going to be at the park running my Kyosho Raider. So, let me tell you a little bit about the Raider. First off, it was my first RC car. And I only ran it in the street in front of my house. So I only know what it was like running it around in a circle on concrete. And I take it to the park, put it on a ball field, and um, just have some fun with it today. And uh, when I got this Raider, uh, it was missing the motor. So I, for right now, put a just a silver can 540 motor in there. But what happened was, I didn't realize that when I bought this from um, the seller, there were some parts missing. Number one, the idler shaft that goes right through that holds the gear in place, um, that was missing. And the original seller made a makeshift one um, that went through to hold the gears in place. However, when I went to install the motor, I realized that I was missing a metal motor plate that uh, goes between the motor and the plastic gearbox. And there's also a motor plate on the inside that sandwiches the plastic gearbox. And I was missing those two parts as well. So uh, luckily enough, I went to one of my favorite sellers on eBay, and that is uh, Optima Heaven. And uh, he has a plethora, yes, I used the word plethora, has a lot of um, Optima parts, uh, Outrage parts, uh, Kyosho Raider parts, and um, asked him if he has you know, all the things I needed, and of course he did, and boom, they were here within a week. So now I can get my Raider up and running. Also missing from this Raider were the steering arms. So luckily I have a new inbox um, mint condition uh, Raider, which I borrowed the steering arms from to put onto here. So I don't know, I guess that Raider is not gonna be mint condition now anymore because I'm using them on this Raider. But either way, this is gonna be up and running now and I'm looking forward to getting this running out in the field today. So hopefully I get some good footage and I uh, can make a pretty cool video for all of you guys showcasing the Raider and Let's get out to the field now and see what this thing can do.
time for cleanup. If you own any RC cars, whether they're old school vintage or the newer ones, you definitely gotta get yourself an air compressor. Makes cleanup super easy. One, two, three. All right, I'm back and the Raider is all cleaned up. And now I just wanted to share with you my thoughts of running my Raider today while at the park. And it definitely brought back memories. It was very nostalgic uh, of me being a kid and running this. So that was always, you know, something nice. Um, kind of slow. I don't know if it was the battery or if it was something else. I don't know. It just, I didn't remember it being that slow when I was a kid. But then again, that was so many years ago. Um, as far as the way it handled, very similar to that of a Hornet. Um, has friction shocks on there, so it kind of just skips along the ground, much like the Hornet. And, um, you know, this was put out in the late 80s by Kyosho as an entry level buggy. So it's very comparable to a grasshopper or a frog or a hornet. So obviously it handles much like one also. Um, my plans for this moving forward, I definitely want to make it a little bit quicker and then run it on my friend's uh, track in his yard. So to get it ready for that, I was thinking about putting in this uh, Kyosho Mega Motor. It's 22 turns. And I think this is the motor that actually came with the Turbo Raider which was like the hopped up version of the Raider that also included uh, oil filled shocks. So I think I'm gonna try to get me some oil filled shocks, stick this motor in there. And I do wanna run it on a LiPo battery and I'm not sure if this Speedo in here takes LiPo. So I'm gonna post a picture of this in the corner and if you run it with a LiPo and it takes a LiPo battery and can handle that, let me know if it doesn't handle a lipo battery please let me know um so i don't want to blow anything up you know <laughs> so but i definitely had a good time with this um brought back memories like i said and that's the most important thing and that's why i am in this hobby and into vintage rcs because it's all about you know the memories i had as a kid and all the rcs i wanted as a kid and, and, and couldn't get but now i can right so all right hopefully i'm gonna i'm gonna get this um, hopped up a little bit with some extra parts on here, like I said, and get this out to my friend's track sooner rather than later. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. And if you enjoyed, please hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed already, please consider subscribing as well. And I will see you all in my next video. Hey, like my video? Then give it a thumbs up. And if you're into RC, please consider subscribing to my channel to check out some of my other vintage RC content.